Hi, I'm Susie from Out West Homestead. Thanks for coming by. I'm going to talk about dogs and dog spirits. I'm going to talk about Toby. Uh, when Toby come here, I didn't have Blue. I didn't have uh, any boy dogs. Uh, it was just all girl dogs I had here. And one night, uh, it was about 12 o'clock at night. Uh, we heard our girl dogs just run up and down the hallway. <laughs> they were playing and having a big time. And uh, we thought, well, what's going on with them? And, uh, and what happened, uh, I don't know where Toby come from. Uh, that night, we didn't hear no truck a car come down at the end of the road because we're at a dead end we didn't hear you know nothing like that to wake us up all we heard was the dogs the girl dogs playing and uh so bill says uh i think i think there's a new dog in the house <laughs> and uh there was a new dog it was toby and if you think about it, he had, we had the, uh, all the gates shut uh, to the driveway. So he got over the driveway gate, and then right out here, we got a backyard gate. He got over that. I feel like the girls probably seen him and, and told him, come on in. <laughs> they were so happy to see a boy dog. And, uh, of course, they're all fixed, but they just, you know, was happy to see Toby. So he, he got through that gate, got over it, and then uh, we didn't have the back porch then, but we had a doggy door right there, and he, he'd come in a doggy door, and, and most dogs have to be trained for a doggy door, but uh, the girls probably showed him, like, come on in the house, and uh, so he went through that doggy door, and uh, they probably said, come down the hall, uh, uh, I want to show you mom and daddy's and they was all just so happy to have Toby so uh, we both sit up in bed like well what's going on and uh, it was dark and Toby he jumps up and he comes up to me and he, and he gets right in my arms and just lays down and he takes a, a deep breath just like he's home and who he felt like was my dog Dusty it just made me feel of Dusty all over I didn't know what Toby looked like I didn't know if he was boy or girl so I was laying there in bed with Toby in my arms and uh, I didn't know what he looked like or what he was or anything <laughs> until the morning and I fell asleep and he fell asleep and Bill fell asleep but I thought uh, you know Toby uh, shies away from people I don't know what kind of life he come uh, he don't trust people too much but that night he just curled up in my arms and uh, I you know I just hugged him back it just I just felt like Dusty was home like Dusty come home it just had that feel and even uh, Bill felt that like it was dusty and uh, it made me feel so good because I could feel dusty you know when I hugged him and uh, so I think maybe uh, Dusty showed him the way in and Dusty had him come here because uh, I didn't hear no cars or truck or anything you know where they would dump off a dog and usually if, if you dump off a dog and take off they would follow that car or truck up the road but he was right there at the gate somehow he come here it's just like uh, how Sonny come here and he didn't want to leave uh, but anyway that spirit I could feel dusty spirit and so could Bill so I wonder if uh, dog spirits could enter a dog like let's go home uh, maybe Toby was dumped somewhere 
and lost and uh, Dusty just like I'll show you the way home and, and Dusty brought him to us so uh, anyway that's what me and Bill thinks I know it sounds kind of hokey pokey but <laughs> that's what we think Dusty brought him to us and uh, if you just know how Toby is not liking to be around people quite shy about it he looks at you suspicious and then that night he just uh, jumped up in my arms and just took that deep breath and he relaxed and uh, I don't know how far he traveled but he just went right to sleep in my arms and I went to sleep too and I had a comfort feeling like it was dusty but uh, who knows if uh, dog spirits uh, don't come into a, a body of a dog because I don't know but um, even Belle uh, we see our, our dog Tessie uh, we see her spirit in, uh, in Belle uh, Tessie was our hunter and she does exact same thing Tessie did and uh, Tessie would look all sweet and cute at us and Belle does too. <laughs> she reminds us so much of Tessie and her color is quite the same too. Uh, we've been missing Tessie a lot, a whole lot, and uh, Belle has taken that place, you know, of Tessie and made us feel better. I still miss Tessie, but it's almost like uh, Tessie's got that spirit in, in Belle. So, uh, I don't know if that is our imagination or it, if it's possible that uh, your dog could come home in a different dog. I feel like uh, Dusty Spirit was in Toby and Toby is just like glued to me. Uh, I don't know why but he always watches for me. He's always by me somewhere. Uh, he can't hear now so I'll have to make sure when I leave the garden or something, make sure he, if he's asleep, he can hear me. Because uh, he'll, he'll wake up and look for me. And I'll be in the house and I can see him out looking. So I have to go get him and uh, go like Toby, you know, or walk right up to him so he can uh, see me. And, and when he sees me, he's so happy. But uh, he's my boy. And uh, I just want to tell you about Toby coming in the house and, and, and them girls they were just so happy you know to see him and uh, you know and he jumped up in my arms and just took that deep breath like I'm home and it just felt like dusty and it, and it was a good feeling too but uh, my uh, Tessie is um, Tippy's sister. Uh, someone gave them two to us. Uh, they come by to look at uh, the horses and they had these two puppies and they was going to take them to Walmart and get rid of them. And they was tell them, telling us about it. I said, you got puppies? <laughs> you got puppies? <laughs> okay. So I went to look at them. I said, well, I'll take them. Uh, and they were the last two of that litter and them dogs were wonderful it's amazing that you don't think they're worth nothing and and them two dogs are just amazing and tippy uh, at one time she was uh, the boss of all dogs uh, she would just she wasn't mean but she showed respect like you better respect me nobody challenged her uh, Tessie didn't challenge her and then when we got Blue, uh, Blue was not the boss, uh, Tippy was. And, and so on, when we got Ben, uh, Ben wasn't no boss. Well, Ben, he's not a boss anyway, but, uh, and her tail was always up. And she was like real proud. She's always walking proud and strong, uh, Tippy was. And uh, Ben knocked them two into snakes, and they did get bit. But Tippy was my best rattlesnake getter. She could kill a snake just like that. Uh, Tippy and Tessie, they worked together. Tessie would bark at the rattlesnake. And Tippy, she would judge that head. And they worked together. And at the right time, 
tip you can go in there and shake that snake and kill it just like that. She never got bit from that. But what she got bit from was being uh, knocking uh, them dogs into that uh, the rattlesnake. He he was just uh, young and dumb and he jumpy, uh, all legs, and he just uh, it scared him. But he would just jump. But what he did because him being so big, he would knock the dogs in, and then finally, Tippy was about to get that rattlesnake, and he was uh, jumping around her, and he shoved her right into that rattlesnake, and it got her right in the eye. Well, that that day took uh, Tippy's power away. It took her strength away. Her tail went down. And she just changed. You know. Uh, she was never the same dog. She, she didn't have no pride. She just existed. And, and today all she wants to do is eat and sleep. And uh, she, you know it just made a difference because of uh, her getting bit in her eye. And uh, now she just walks around. She knows her way in and out of the house, but uh, one eye, her other eye is getting a cataract, so it's getting harder for her to see. And uh, all she thinks about now is food. But uh, what happens uh, when you take a, a lead dog um, and uh, it changes the pack, just like a horse. Uh, when my horse uh, got old, the horses, uh, uh, you know, they change and make a new leader. Well, Blue, he was a, a leader for, uh, after Tippy uh, got her way like that. But, um, so what happened to Blue, he was trying to challenge Ben. And... Ben, as gentle as he is, he won't take that off of Blue. And Blue was trying to jump him, trying to be like pack leader. And, uh, see, T Tippy didn't try to jump nobody. She just had a way about her that I'm the boss. And everybody knew that she was the boss. But Blue, he didn't know how to do that. So, uh, uh, Blue was trying to do it in force and growl and raise his hair. <laughs> And then he would try to jump Ben, and that just did not work. <laughs> uh, there's no way he can beat Ben up. Ben was really good with him because Ben probably could have broke his back. And and Ben has a tendency to grab right in the middle of the back. And uh, that's probably how they could kill a coyote because that big old mouth. But Ben would take him down, and uh, then Blue would go off. You know, he, he tried that several times. And now Blue is older, and we got Sunny, and uh, right now it almost looks like Sunny's going to be a lead dog. Not yet, but it, it looks like he's going to. Blue is not challenged Sunny at all. It's almost like Blue took a step back, and I think it's because he's older. But uh, and of course, uh, Sunny he ain't gonna challenge nobody, but. Uh, he pesters Blue, and Blue puts up with it, but uh, he will be lead pack dog at, at one time in the future, he will. But then uh, he respected uh, Tippy, but he was just a, a kid-like dog, and he'd ju jump around. He got them bit several times by knocking them into a, a rattlesnake, but uh, Tippy... You know, sometimes people say there isn't hardly anything faster than a rattlesnake, but Tippy was fast. She could get them rattlesnakes. Uh, she just did like that, and they'd be dead. She was so good at it. The best uh, rattlesnake dog we ever had. Um, well, but I did want to bring up Tippy because I don't know. She don't have a long time. Uh, she's going. She's not going to last. Uh, she's really getting old fast, but she was a great dog. Her sister was a good dog, too. Um, Tippy, she would always take care of me out in the desert. Her and Tuli, they'd walk. They, they always switched places. Uh, 
Tippy would walk the most with me, but uh, Tui would come by and walk with me out in the desert, and then Tippy would go out hunting a little bit, and then Tippy would come back, and then Tui would go out hunting a little bit. So them two dogs was always uh, by my side, close uh, when uh, even coyotes come, they was always real close to me. So I just want to mention her on this video because uh, it won't be long that she'll be passing on and it'll be too hard for me to talk about her then. But uh, she was, she's been a real special dog and I wish you could see her when she was all proudful and gorgeous and her tail was up. But she was quite the dog. And uh, her owners, uh, they had them puppies, they, they didn't see the special in them dogs. And, uh, but they, they turned out to be real special. But I did want to tell you about Toby, uh, how we felt like, you know, Dusty uh, guided him to us. And it felt like Dusty come home. It, it really did. And uh, I just want to tell you about that stuff. But I know some people don't believe that uh, a dog spirit can come into another dog. I think it's possible because uh, I did feel uh, like Dusty did for sure. And uh, Belle, uh, she reminds us so much of Tessie. It just gives us a, uh, a better way to get over Tessie because we see it all in Belle. And, that, and that's really helped us. So I appreciate y'all coming by and listening to my talk on dogs. I really appreciate it. So thanks for coming by from Out West Homestead. Bye.